Hey everyone, today I've got your Minions movie review. Minions have been searching throughout the ages for someone to serve, but one minion named Kevin has a plan and he alongside his two buddies Stuart and Bob go out into the world off of this island to find a new evil boss to follow. So as far as the story goes, uh, these three little uh, pill looking guys uh, that are yellow uh, end up going, uh, and this is during the 60s, to New York to meet up with this new villain uh, that they see on some TV named Scarlet Overkill, and she's the world's first ever female supervillain. I don't even know why this world even has supervillains. It's like really crazy. They basically uh, don't know what they're getting themselves into and basically uh, they are going to try to stop whatever plan she's got up her sleeves or should I say up her red dress because that thing she had to keep pulling up. It just gets pretty wild and crazy. So while Comic-Con is actually happening in real life uh, for four days this weekend, there is a villain con in this movie and the minions end up going to this place where they're trying to uh, find Scarlet Overkill because they're just like so obsessed with her. And uh, I found it funny how they basically segue from that whole scene to this whole crazy plot that uh, she wants to steal the crown from the Queen of England. So basically the whole movie is set in England pretty much. I haven't seen any of the Despicable Me movies, don't really plan to, so I don't know why I bothered to see this movie. I just was not that impressed with it. You've got a cast of like some big name actors like Sandra Bullock who plays Scarlet Overkill who uh, you know I feel like the talent was wasted and I said it like from the first moment that I like heard the acting in this movie that there's just like some serious talent wasted here and you've got John Hamm as her husband and it doesn't really get that impressive from there, but you can't have a Despicable Me prequel without seeing little Gru uh, voiced by Steve Carell, which is sort of making a cameo at some point in this movie, so I guess that's good for those who like to watch these type of movies, because I certainly didn't really care too much about it. But the thing that I kind of liked about this movie um, I feel like I just chuckled a couple times uh, in some of the scenes like where they're trying to be funny and all that and so I'm just like <laughs> eh. and that's it. I literally had no other expressions, no other feelings at all towards watching this movie because I just found this movie to be ridiculous and the things that I disliked about this movie, it just really felt stupid at times. Now I know this is a kids movie, kids aren't gonna care, but the people like us, people like me, we're gonna care if a movie is good or not, if it is funny or not. And I'm glad I didn't see Despicable Me because the minions, uh, those little dudes, were just really hard to understand and I'm and I figured that's like how they were gonna talk, but I didn't realize they were gonna talk like that throughout the entire movie. There's this one scene uh, where I think Bob was like being crowned king or something like that, and he starts like addressing the public and he's like talking, and I'm like, what the hell are you saying? It was funny how like nobody was like, like when all the people in the movie, they were listening to what he was talking about, and they were just like, that's literally how I was. Let me tell you, it was just dumb. I would say that overall, this movie just did not impress me one iota, so I obviously won't be seeing this movie again, and don't even convince me to watch Despicable Me unless you guys like those movies, because uh, I just don't think I can stand to hear those little guys talking, and it'll just be really just dumb and annoying. 
I would not recommend checking out seeing this movie unless you don't really care uh, and you just think you're going to be entertained, but you're really not. So I would give this two and a half hearts on the heart rate scale. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought of Minions. Uh, did you guys even see the first two Despicable Me movies? And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got my movie reviews, movie updates. Come back every week for a Shell Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And I'll see you guys later.